This is the judge from the handicap snip. There's no members content today, so I'm making this free mark your card video for non-members and everybody else as well. So you can see the kind of work that I do for the members. Uh, I'm getting my eye in with the jump season, and so we're going to start off with Hexham and Worcester today. Just going to have a brief look through the cards and highlight anything of interest and any possible bets. The first race is a maiden hurdle. There's a couple of horses with the best uh, hurdles form so far, which would be Globetrotter and Shadow Sadness, who fell on his second start, but his, but his first start was good. I uh, wouldn't be taking 7-4 to four Shadow Sadness. Uh, Ice Fall has run okay, but I think he'll get beat again. So it's a tricky race, and for me, it's a no-bet race. More interesting is the 2.30, which is a handicap chase. It is very low grade, 0 to 100. No, notice that the top weight is rated 100, but he's got to carry uh, more than 12 stone to, to take that into account. Uh, this Irish Raider could be very dangerous with Brian Hughes, but 3 to 1. No, thank you. My selection for this race is Reverse the Charge. Reverse the Charge, one over course and distance back here. He hasn't been back to Hexham since. He won over this course and distance by three and a half lengths with the same jockey on board. He's only two pounds higher today and uh, he's worth a small bet. You know, minimum, minimum stakes, normal, you know, like your typical one point win bet. You could include him in any each way multiples. I'm sure he'll run well. Three o'clock. Now Tom Lacey is a progressive trainer and his horse Vivon has won uh, the last twice. Bolted up eight days ago at Fontwell by 14 lengths. Gets a seven pound penalty, but amateur rider takes off five of that. So it's effectively only two pounds higher today going to be very, very hard to beat. Uh, seven to four looks a decent bet. So maybe have double stakes on that. Two point win. One of the best bets of the day. 3.30 is a tight little uh, handicap chase for novices. And they're open to improvement, these horses. Uh, Rebel Yates has, has run okay. But the one I like best, and I think it's about time they did this, He's stepping up in trip to two miles four. He's run well over two miles one and a half. It's King Muro from the Fergal O'Brien yard. Five to one looks a decent rewarding price. And I think he can definitely benefit from the extra trip. And the experience that he's got as a chaser. He's nice and fit. He's worth the standard one point win. There's a very, very tricky handicap hurdle here at four o'clock uh this horse sam to i'm waiting for him to go back to sedgefield i believe is the where he wants to go very very difficult to call this race at all but one horse that caught my eye and from a yard that likes having a touch and i would only bet it if there's some market confidence is this mickey hammond trained horse mac senetic Back here, this second place finish over there, he was second of 18 off this mark in a race in Thurness, I believe it was, in Ireland. He's come over here now. Mickey Hammond loves having a big price winner. And they had a 66 to 1 winner on the flat the other day. I oh, watch out. Maybe he's going to need the run. This is his first run back after a wind knock. He may well need it, but I'm certain they'll be plotting this up. So put him in your notebook, in your tracker. Okay, move on to the next race. It's another moderate handicap chase. I did go all through these. This 15-year-old, CW, although he hasn't been out for 395 days, he is really well treated. I couldn't possibly bet him at 11 or 4. I did look at, through the whole race. The one that comes out best, it's coming back off a break, is Raising, Rising Marion Bard for 
Derek Fox and Lucinda Russell. He's only six years old. He's a novice. He's only had two chase starts. And he can rate much higher than 104. So he's worth a standard one point bet. Then there's another handicap hurdle after that. And this one is even worse. I made Mission 2 my bad Mission Trio. Mission Trio. The bad favourite of the day. I don't see that winning. I don't see that winning at all. This horse, Andahar, is uh, well treated. It's a course and distance winner. 12 years old, though. In the end, I could not find a bet in the race. I would I would say that this race is, is ripe for a boil over. You might get one of these 50 to 1 or 66 to 1 shots getting in the frame quite easily. You could even get something like this. I don't know. Was Brian Ellison horse, 40 to 1. Cheap pieces first time. Because the main contenders are very unreliable. So that's the Hexham card. Over at Worcester. Starts off at the 2 o'clock with a 2 mile 7 handicap chase. There's a horse in here who's theoretically chucked in. Which is number 12, Bermeo. He won uh, at Newton Abbott seven days ago and he gets to that was over three miles two and he gets to run off the same mark of 80 but what i don't like about it is he's dropping back three furlongs on trip and i don't think that's going to be ideal he looks like a stayer the one i've had a little go on and that's half a unit each way is number three fanjo who was in the same race and was prominent right up until the final fence and he may well benefit from dropping back to this trip and at 12 to 1 you can have a small bet he's off the right mark that run may have done him good and hopefully the favorite you know struggles at the short trip and that might that's the that's the theory anyway so half a unit each way fangio 12 to 1 looks you know it's a good working man's price we're up this is only for fun we're not playing for big stakes here. This is just for to you know to go through the card and have a few bets and see if we can land on a winner. That'd be some fun. In this 320, I skipped over the next race. I beg your pardon. The 250 is a is a very tricky uh, beginners chase, and there's three at the head of the market. They're going 11 to 10, 9 to 4, 9 to 4. Pays your money and takes your choice there. You've got three decent trainers in Richard Newland, Tom Lacey and Nicky Henderson. I couldn't make an angle. In this handicap chase though, I definitely think this horse of Richard Newland's called Theo won 26 days ago. I think he's going to be incredibly hard to beat and I'd make him a decent bet. The flat race, I wouldn't have an opinion. This next race, this handicap hurdle at 420, again, I did not have an opinion because it's very, very tight. As the market will show you, there's only six runners and they're going three to one, seven to two, four to one, nine to two, six to one, and seven to one. So it's very, very tight. I might end up going for Midnight Sapphire simply because it's a pipe horse. In fact, if you want me to name my selection, I'll name my selection as Midnight Sapphire in the 420, but I'm not personally going to have a bet on the race. And then there's a maiden hurdle, and you've got some nice horses in here coming off the flat. You've got Krebs Cycle for Ian Williams. He was a reasonable flat horse. But by far the best of these uh, on the flat is the Dan Skelton trained Sophia's Rock, who's come out of the Mark Johnson yard, and this horse is rated around 100 on the flat, something like that. Let me just get his stats up, and we'll see. He's officially rated 96, and he's got a best RPR of 106. So he's, he's got a, a large amount of ability. He's a front runner. He, he'll stay two miles, no problem. And, uh, you know, if, if he jumps well enough and he's still in contention coming to the last, he should be far too fast for these 
at Sprint Clear. But he's going to be odds on. So do you want to bet a newcomer? I'll leave that up to you. He, he is a strong bet. So there we go. I'm just going to put up the the summary card for you now. And, that, and that's the end of the video. Hope that was of some interest and have a good day. And here you go. Here is the crib sheet where I've marked uh, the horses that I like in all those different races. And uh, if you want to follow along, just uh, make a note of these selections. And um, hopefully that will be some fun. Speak to you all soon.